So in some years, the same individuals that will migrate all the way down to Gardner, Montana, the next year they'll stay up in the Lamar Valley the entire year. Yellowstone biologist Chris Jeremiah says there is deep snow right now with a hard crust in the northern part of the park. The harder the snow gets, the more energy it takes you know, to access grass. That means hundreds of bison are moving into the Gardner area in search of food. If you are in three to four feet of snow, and you were trying to walk, and every step you took, you kind of put your foot on top of the snow, and then it went crashing down you know, to the bottom. It, that's an exhausting life to live. He says to expect the migration to continue until mid-March. This year, you know, we, the National Park Service, did not set a removal target. But we are going to manage the migration. There are two bison herds in Yellowstone, one in the north with about 4,500 animals and another called the central herd with about 1,500 animals. It occupies the interior of the park from Old Faithful all the way up to Mammoth. As bison move out of the park, there can be trouble. Buffalo on highways, buffalo on private land where people don't want them. A buffalo getting out of the conservation area and potentially transmitting brucellosis to livestock. Managing bison in Yellowstone is as much about managing people as it is about managing the animals. Every part of this program takes intense coordination with the state of Montana, with the part of USDA that manages diseases, the Animal and Plant Health Inspection Service, the tribes that we're working with, and the park. To keep bison from posing a problem outside the park, state hunters and tribal hunters harvest the animals. Then about 250 brucellosis-free bison are captured and are intensely tested for two years before being transferred to tribal nations to establish more bison populations. In order to get those 250 disease-free bison, about 500 must be captured. Those extra bison go to slaughter. The meat and hides are sent to Indian tribes. It really is a a day-to-day -day balancing act and we are doing everything possible to not leave anybody behind to listen to all of the different stakeholders with bison and we also ask everybody to recognize that life's always changing you know the environment's always changing things like climate change and winters like we're seeing this winter well, we're going to see a lot of buffalo down here, and we're going to do the best job we can do to manage that. Here's something else to keep in mind. Jeremiah tells me the northern part of Yellowstone can support up to 6,000 bison, while the central part of the park could support up to 5,000. That's almost double the number of bison currently living in Yellowstone. Near Gardner, in Yellowstone National Park, John Shearer, MTN News.